Hallelujah. This is an amazing day, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. This is a homegoing service today for one of our beloved loved ones and um, a celebration for Charles D. Thornton Sr. And it's a life of it's a life that is is celebrated today by friends and family and uh, we want you to celebrate his life today. Praise but God. we know where he is to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And we would like to start off with a hymn uh, of, of praise, blessed assurance, and uh, if everyone could stand except for the family, we would ask the uh, Candace to lead us in prayer. Pastor 
Mario Ford from Power on the Cross Church. Would you welcome him? Hallelujah. Come on, this is going to be a day of celebration, a day of joy. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, Father, we just thank you that in the name of Jesus, we are here, Father, because this is a day, hallelujah, a celebration of life, hallelujah, for our brother, Charles Thornton. So today, you say that absence from the body is to be present with the Lord, uh, that the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous are in much. Uh, so we know that today we are accomplishing something for the kingdom of the living God that has come right now, hallelujah, and I pray this prayer of for the family in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, Father, that you will comfort each and every one that the spirit of, of unity, hallelujah, will be upon them uh, that you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Uh, and for the ones that don't know you, Lord, hallelujah, we pray that you will draw them closer and closer to you. Uh, that the day will be a day that uh, even if we funeralize uh, our brother Charles Gordon, Today. So I just pray that the love of Christ, hallelujah, will just continue to fall upon the family, upon the friend right now, in the name of Jesus, because you said that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous are left much. We know that absence from the body is to be present with the Lord. So today, hallelujah, our spirit, hallelujah, are rejoicing because we know when Charles Thornton right now. He's, he's rejoicing with the Lord. So Father, I just pray a covering right now for the family members, uh, the friend right now in the name of Jesus, uh, that as we continue on this journey, that we'll be able to give you the glory, give you the honor, and give you the praises for everything that we're doing. Uh, so cover, cover the family of today. Cover them right now. Hallelujah. And we just pray, Father, hallelujah, that the Spirit of the living God will fall fresh upon the family. We thank you right now. We lift you up and we magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to have scripture reading uh, the uh, Old Testament by uh, Melinda Smith followed by the New Testament by Ooh. Suzanne Thornton Burr. Praise God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored to my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen.
Hey man, we just want to be an encouragement, amen, to the family. <coughs> How many of you know that he thought we were worth dying for? Amen. Even when we were stuck in our situations, that he still thought it was worth. Amen.
because one day where each one of us is going to cross over and Jesus is going to be us right where we are. Hallelujah. And so he says, we be may endure for a night, but joy does come in the morning. And that is a promise. That is a promise. And Father, we just thank you for blessing this family today. We thank you for comforting this family today. He's the God of all comfort. Hallelujah. And so we're going to have a special reading today by Mira Harmon. We're going to have a special reading today by Anjo Harmon. Harmon. Hallelujah. <laughs> Power in the Fourth Ministry. Resolution, Charles 
Chubby Thorne. Dear family, a resolution in loving memory for Charles Chubby Thorne presented on behalf of the Power of the Course Church and International World Mission Outreach Center in Pennsylvania. For we know that in our earthly house of this tabernacle, we discover we have a building of God and the house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. 2 Corinthians 5 1. Whereas the passing of our beloved brother Charles Thornton has left us with a broken heart, we acknowledge and accept the will of God. We will cherish and remember his beautiful, bright, and cheerful spirit. We are comforted by knowing to be absent from the body is to be present with God. Whereas we believe the words of Jesus in John 14, 1, 3, that encourages us to let us not to let not to heart be troubled. We, we believe in God, we also in me. In my Father's house for many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Therefore, be it resolved that power, that the power of the Force Church and the International World Missions Outreach Center embraces the family and friends with our love and prayers. We cannot replace our beloved Charles Chubby Thornton, but will encourage to, to demonstrate our great love as we continue to lift the family up in our prayers. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 1, 3, 4 encourages us with these words. Blessed be God, even in, and even in our fathers. Okay. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble by comfort, where, where we, we ourselves are comforted by God. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and copy left to the Church of our God, humbly submitted on July the 3rd, 2019, all to the power and the Force Church and International World Missions Outreach Center, Reverend Ariel and Tammy Ford, Pastor of Pennsylvania, Dr. And Mrs. James Hornet, Tennessee family. Macedonia, July the 3rd, 2019. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Holy High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Psalm 91, 1 and 2. To brother and sister Cecil and Sarah Marlach and family, the Macedonia Baptist Church and, and our pastor Brian L. Gray, officers are deep in sympathy to you and your family in the loss of your brother, Charles Horn. May the grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be upon you. We pray that the love you have for him lessens your sorrow and may your memories of him be a source of comfort. God will surely exemplify his faithfulness and strengthen you in the time of bereavement. As the suffering of Christ flows over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. We offer prayers for you during your time of sorrow and commend you to our Heavenly Father, who with healing, healing, grief, and sadness. And always remember that joy does come in the morning. Sorrowfully submitted, Brian L. Craig Pastor. The Ohio State University, dear friends and family, we are deeply saddened by the loss of our dear friend, Mr. Charles Chubby Thornton. Words cannot articulate the grief that we are, we as a family and community feel. <coughs> it was many things to numerous people. He was a brother, father, uncle, cousin, and he was a cheerful and loving friend. He, without a doubt, was a very gifted person, and most importantly, a caring and loving man. If there was anything that I can remember most about him, it was his brilliance and humor. He was a natural. Truly, we all look forward to, to his wonderful and special stories. To Sarah, Eddie, his children, family, and friends, there is nothing that we could ever replace his love, care, and do, devotion for each and every one of you. To the family, we have lost a comedic genius. 
to the friends who made over the past decade who have lost a wonderful and true associate. It is inevitable that we all must go home to our final resting place, God's home. When we take that journey to our final destination, we will all leave a little something for our earthly family and friends to remember us by. We want to thank you, Mr. Charles Thornton, for you being the unique and special individual you have always been. We will love and miss you forever as we know you will be making the angels laugh from above. From the family and friends that could not attend with the love, Lawrence Larry Williams, Jr., Director. We want to thank uh, Sister Joan Gilmore Heard for the uh, reading of the announcements and uh, acknowledgments. We're now going to have the reading uh, of the obituary by Andrew Baba uh, Harnett. Come at this time. 